Just a few months in the fashion industry, and the designer of this swimwear collection is already turning heads. Oh, I had so much feedback about the swimwear. Um, everyone loved it. Love is round the bed. Thank you very much for that. Nat Dan has recently returned from a successful show at Australian Fashion Week. Next stop, the New York equivalent in September. It's one of the top four in the world. So along with Paris, London and Milan. Um, and collectively it has an online and offline audience of about 16 million. As a Bardi Nyonyo woman from the Dampier Peninsula in Western Australia's Kimberley, she wants her creations to reflect her culture and connection to the ocean. Even the fabric she uses comes from recycled material, including ocean plastic. My whole upbringing was by the sea, so um, naturally I was always on the search for the perfect swimwear piece or garment. But it's not just the US that's interested in First Nations designers. Indigenous entrepreneur Amanda Healy scours the country looking for artwork that will suit textiles. Recently, her label's been having an impact in Europe. They're hungry for something different. They're hungry for something that has some real meaning and something that has um, a story to it. For years, the Indigenous fashion industry has been fragmented. But West Australian designer TJ Cowlishaw has co-created a platform called First Nations Fashion and Design to connect people in the industry. Just an example, last year for 2021, we worked with a minimum of 110 people back of house that were from all around the nation, from our models to our back of house team. And we have mob working with mob. Despite recent successes, the up and coming designers still face challenges, including funding overseas trips to show off their work. Abby Richards, ABC News.